I'm the only child, but I'm from a family in Ogore, Rebanzi Tata, they're mostly women. So a good thing is I don't do a lot of chores around the house, but I'm from a closely knit family. And well, we have a support structure in Ogore when we have issues or problems, Jalo Jalo Ratu Sana. As the only child, but at the same time, I had brothers and sisters around me and they're always encouraging me, whatever it is that I'm doing. So even today, whatever milestone or whatever it is that I achieve, they're always there to say, congratulations, uh, guide me. But yeah, I'm well guided and there's a solid foundation behind me, as I can say. As to how I managed to stay out of trouble, put simply, it's about personal discipline. Uh, like I'm saying, you always need that solid foundation. So some of these answers, as I keep saying, my family is a hard because some of these things I'm the first to join our family. So we have no problem with that. But listen, when you're out there, you're our brand ambassador as the Gere Gangs. You're you're reflecting us going to go. So uno we just the challenges Well of course I'm not saying I'm perfect, but sometimes it's how best you deal with a situation. So personal discipline is always important and just staying out of trouble and staying focused. Know what it is that you want to achieve and do it best. Okay, let me put it simple. I'm a dreamer and I always say this either on Twitter or any other social media platform hashtag chase your dreams I'm one of those people by and they have multiple interests as you might know by now I'll start with this nine to five I'm an attorney yes I tackle all kinds of legal issues before that while still in varsity I was doing Mahosi I was a rapper it's still in me but I'm not quite active on the musical side I'm also a radio presenter part-time I do that on weekends two to four on to my firm and recently TV and the question is where do I get the time let me put it like this how chaser you leave work at 5 p.m. what do you do up until 10 I'm watching TV chilling talking to your friends I choose not to do that I choose to put into or put my energy into something more productive an hour or two prepping for radio, an hour to TV, an hour to at Kennel Custom Suits. Oh, by the way, I'm also a designer. So add that list to all the things that I'm doing. So yes, I choose to use my time in a manner that's gonna benefit me. I chase my dream, so that's how it operates. Going forward, where do I see myself? Expanding, that's what I wanna do. So on top of this list of things, certainly you're gonna get more to that. My highest achievements, ah, Every little thing that I get to do which I didn't do before is an achievement for me. I know I might not be answering the question because that's the lawyer in me probably, but understand this. Every little achievement, be it radio, be it TV. This TV interview right now is an achievement. Not everybody gets to come here if you understand what I mean. So yeah, going forward, I see myself owning a group of companies. I'd love to own my own TV station. I'd love to own my own radio station. I'd love to own a sporting team because here's the thing. Always invest in things that are your passion. I love TV. I love radio. So hey, I love sport. Some of these things, they're not coming to me because um, get tall work and I eat them all. That's a fact. All these things that you see me doing is because I did something right and I worked towards it. I'll give you an example. The radio, okay, the law school, fine. I went to law school for five years. I never had uh, a retake. I didn't do an extra year. Why? Because I would read, I would study. I would go on tour. I had my file with me on tour. When I got off stage, I would go to my room and read. The radio, I was hustling. When I say hustling, I mean I was always on the program's manager's email. Kimo Raikere, listen, I've got this product. We need to package it and put it out on radio for about six to seven months, nonstop. So I'm always telling people, work hard and someone is all, someone out there is looking at what you're doing and it's gonna pay off. It doesn't come easy. Kennel custom suits. So yeah, I'm also into suit making. I design and we tailor. Where does this come from is probably what you're asking yourself. If you're gonna look at uh, where I'm coming from, I've always loved looking good. From a young age, I remember there was a store in Lobazi Bidu, O&B fashion or something like that. At, at the age of eight, I had a pure cut in jean quite clearly for my aunt so I've always loved looking good so what I did as I did say about my passion I put action to it I did a bit of a market research and I noticed there are very little uh, designers out there who focus on formal wear mobile 
I hosted a couple of shows. I remember Miss Botswana Fashion Show, and that's when I decided that was the turning point right there. What I, I'm going to put this to action. So what I do, I focus on men and women's formal wear. That was a niche. That was a market. Here's a tip: when you're going to go into business, don't just do it because everybody's doing it, because that seems to be the trend, Miss Botswana. You know how we do. But do it because one, you're passionate about it, and two, because there's a niche in the market. So those are all the things that what I put together to come up with Kenya Custom Suits together with my partner Donald. It's unfortunate that sometimes these things that I pursue don't quite complement each other. But the music in me, the music is in me. Sorry. Uh, here's what I mean when I say they don't complement each other. Uh, as an attorney, you're advising someone on matters that affect their life, and then tomorrow you're at a show saying, "Put up your hands." So uh, I think. In Botswana, we're a bit slow to quite adapt to some of these divergent interests. But uh, in terms of an album, nah, I doubt that's going to be possible. But I'd love to own my own record label going forward. I'd love to manage artists and see how best we can assist them, which I'm already doing. So yeah, I don't think I'll release an album. But yeah. Looking at the way our country is right now, we've come far, but I feel there's more that we can do in different aspects. Uh, I can't help but also mention Vision 2016 because they're all in one year, right? So it's important that we as Botswana don't just rely on government. Let's all invest in one another, see how best we can assist each other. Let's make it about Botswana, Bots 50. That's a tricky question. This show is about tricky questions, eh? But obviously, I take them to Okavango Delta. But I'd also want them to get a feel of, you know, the city life. Kuira halang mohaborun, kuira halang ulobazi in the villages. Reba bunso kore di polo kore zarna CKG ar jalo jal. I remember um, I had a friend flew in from Europe some time ago. As I picked them from the airport, they had a BBS mall. Uh, the friend happened to see Mosadi Arreli Emera Makrokong, and he turned to me surprisingly. Arre, why is that woman like putting that thing on her head? Asat halokai. So I want them to get a feel of. Obviously, when you Google Botswana, you're thinking tourism, Boko Haram, Jala Jala. They have to see that, but they also have to see the other side of how far we've come and how far we're going. So yeah, it's a balance between the two, according to me. But some zora baje, but ho, but some zora baje bo se swa. That's what they, they need to have and the apologies, of course. I call it the manual to life. You know how you buy a device and you want to know how it works? This is the manual to life. And the special thing about this Bible over here is because it was I got it from a special person from my mom, and she got it for me in 2013. Every single year, I get something that tends to raise my spirituality from my mom. One day later, he sent them, but I don't wanna go with the kid again. Wanna go on Zuara Bella. When I get a new job or a new feature or anything, she always tells me for all the little things I'm doing for all your achievements. It's not everybody who can go as far as you're going, and you're going that far because of the glory of the Lord. I'm done. Done. Oh. You know, I was thinking I like the way you, you covered so much, so little time, like, you know, very nice.